Another uh, exercise for uh, core strength, once someone has established and has a good basis, is to have them put be in what I call iron cross position. They've got the dumbbells out in their arms, their body is vertical in the water, and then have them tuck their knees up towards their chest and then shoot their legs out to one side. And so they're going to try and bring them all the way to the side, come back to the center, bring them back down, stabilize, and bring them up out to the other side. This works really great to work your obliques and is quite challenging for people to do. Uh, a way to make it more difficult is to add your uh, cuffs, ankle type cuffs, flotation cuffs to um, make them work it a little bit more as they're coming up and shooting out. They're, when those legs go out with the cuffs on, they're going to go way up and they're going to have to work really hard to bring it back. I like this exercise as well because what we're doing usually in the water is even in a supine and prone position, you have a larger surface area. When you get onto your side, you're cu cutting that surface area by about two thirds. So it does really kind of teeter you a lot that you have to stabilize with those obliques. Another exercise for the core is to have people utilize what I call the iron cross position, get those dumbbells out to the side, their body is stabilized, uh, feet directly under the head, and then have them bringing the uh, one leg forward, the other back, keeping the leg straight, kind of a cross-country skiing type motion. Really get those legs moving, but stabilizing the upper body while they're doing it. It's really easy to do this and let the whole body move, but if you keep that upper body stabilized, you can really engage the core to um, get these going. Once they can do forward to back, then get them to do more of a jumping jack type motion, getting those legs going out and coming back. But again, stabilize um, using those arms to just really leave them out there, but their core is stabilizing so that they're not getting a lot of rotation as this is happening. And again, you can do this in both the deep water um, to unload them a little bit, or as well as the shallower water to get a little bit of closed chain. Um, and just really paying mm -hmm. attention to as they're doing the cross country that that front leg isn't going as far forward as the back leg is going back. So really emphasizing the symmetry because most people's hip flexors tend to be tight, so they really kick forward a lot and they don't really come back. Same thing going out and in. You're always going to see one leg kind of externally rotating and substituting. So really, you know, really giving them that feedback of what you're seeing in the water and what you want them actually to do in the water. And this is where it's nice if you have a pool that might have a window on the side where you can look at them and see, because once you get more than one person moving in a pool, sometimes you can't really see what they're doing, but utilizing some of the windows a little bit to take a little peek. Are they really doing what I want them to do, keeping those feet pointing straight ahead, not rotating out? 